welcome back to In The Sheds. We're taking a look at round two of the Group 9 Rugby League this weekend. How good was it to have local footy back in the Riverina last week? And with us today, we have a smiling coach from the Cootamundra Bulldogs, Mark Ilya, joins us as a special guest. Cool, Mark, thanks very much for joining us, mate. Uh, a great weekend uh, for you guys last weekend to kick off the Group 9. You must be very proud with a 32-22 a win over Young. Yes, it was a pretty hard fought. Um, and uh, we hadn't really won uh, many of our first uh, round games over the years, so it, uh, no, it, was, it, it was good to win, to uh, finally um, um, get a win on the board first game. Of course, for you, being back at the Cootamundra Club, how, was it, how did it feel standing on the sidelines for the Bulldogs? Uh, yeah, just a return home for me. I've always been, I lived here in Cootamundra, pretty much uh, it's the club that's closest to my heart, and um, uh, really, yeah, it was great, just a privilege to, to, to lead the boys uh, for the first game. Obviously it's only early days, you would have gone into the, the game in round one and had a look at a few things that you might not have been able to see in pre-season training. Are there any little things that you sort of pulled out of that that you think the side will have to work on over the next few weeks to, to really get it right as well? Yeah, we, we, we were pretty, um, our attack was pretty good uh, in the pre-season tournament and uh, like, like a lot of sides, um, if you're going to do well in a strong competition, especially like Group 9, you've, you know, you've got to have a pretty good defence. So that's something that's a, that's a work in progress for us. We really, really need to work on our, our defence. Our defence wasn't too bad um, against Young, but uh, lots of areas, a few areas there which we can improve on. Our attacks, uh, I think, we can improve as well. Um, but more, yeah, more or less defence is was something which uh, we need to look at. And, and you know, I, I give it, say, 70% against Young. Now, of course, uh, South City is a team you come up to, against in round two. Uh, you did play them last in the, in the pre-season competition, uh, going down in the semi-finals. Do you take much out of that game? Do you think much about that one? Uh, yes, yeah, South City are pretty consistent. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a good side, they're a good defence, they play the whole, whole field. Um, uh, we'd come off a, a good win the night before against uh, Tamora, where we'd scored a, a few tries. Um, South City kind of uh, got in their faces a little bit and defended very, very well. So we kind of know what we're up against. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they're, they're that type of side where you kind of know what's coming. It's, it's whether you can stop it or not. And um, but we you know we go we, we go rested up this time with a, you know with, with a week's preparation uh, with a bit of knowledge, knowing that's going to be a tough game, um, especially with a, a home. Uh, it's their first home match and their first match of the year. So um, there'll be no excuses for uh, for a good performance. Hopefully from from. From us. As you said, yeah, they're going to be fired up. This is their first game in the Group 9 competition, so obviously you're going to have to come out and counteract that. Yeah, uh, you know, like at home, you know, for the, you, you've been training the off-season for, for a few months and you're really keen to, to, to show your supporters what you've been doing, uh, new players and so forth. Um, uh, we had that feeling last week uh, playing against Young at home. We are fortunate enough to play at home. And so we can appreciate that uh, it's going to be a big day for them and uh, nothing like coming along and trying to spoil the party. We'll quickly touch on the other games this round. Juni take on Young. Uh, Juni, a club that you're familiar with, didn't perform that well last week going down to Tamora. And Young, can you tell us about their side from last week? Yeah, I, I, Young was uh, written off by, by a few circles um, um, in the pre-season and uh, I, I was quite impressed with the Young. Luke Brangan has got them going pretty well. Uh, just had a couple of... Uh, a couple of uh, English players arrive, uh, they look good. Uh, Luke Brannigan for the first half hour um, uh, of the game against us was pretty much running the whole game. Um, yeah, they, um, I, I think they'll surprise a few people this year uh, young and uh, especially with them playing at home, first match of the year, um, it, it's going to be a tough one for Juni. Now uh, Gundagai of course are at Anzac Park again, they went down to Albury there last week but this week they faced Tumut, you think the Tigers would try and bounce back there against Tumut who were coming off a win as well? Yeah that's, a, that's another tough one, uh, it's another tough one, Gundagai um, at home um, but you just can't discount Tumut, have, we've got a few ex-premiership players and I just, you know players that have won a comp before, um, you know it, it, it's a very very good experience so that's a tough one to call um, because Gundagai at home and because they lost last week um, I'd probably go with him. Of course, the defending premiers, Albury, they looked good last week in round one. Come up against Brothers down in Albury. Uh, Brothers didn't look too flashy last week against Kangaroos. I think they've got a, a lot of improvement. You'd probably expect them to improve this season. Yeah, I, I think it's it's all on the table for Brothers, really, going down to, to, to Albury. And as we talked about, Albury's first game of the year, um, you know, they're um, defending premiers uh, amongst their crowd. So it doesn't really get any bigger for Brothers. Um, by the looks of things... Um, um, Adam Perry and uh, Adam Van Zanten are looking for a more of a tougher performance. So um, uh, nothing better than to, to, to get a good, tough performance against a big pack. 
down down there at Greenfield Park. And Tumbarumba at home as well. They take on Tamora. Tamora were very good last week, I thought, and I think they could be a surprise packet uh, this year. Yeah, Tamora have been talked up and um, have, got, have got some good players. Um, I, I think Tumbarumba too. I think they're um, you know they're, they're not to be discounted. I think some good times are coming ahead for, for, for Tumbarumba. Um, uh, I'd probably have to go with Tamora in this particular match, uh, just on the strength on the back lines. But uh, don't discount uh, Tumbarumba in a few weeks' time. Now, of course, each week we like to do a set of six, so we want to get a few answers uh, out of the, the Cootamundra Club this week. Uh, a set of six, nice easy ones, six, six tackles you've got to uh, answer these. And we're going to start off with your toughest opponent that you think you'll face this season. Toughest opponent? Um, off the top of my head, around five, we go to Tumbarumba away um, after taking the, the big four. So uh, uh, Tumbarumba away, round five. Now, of course, uh, we'd like, like you to dob someone in from your club now. The, the biggest pretty boy in the club, every club sort of has a pretty boy, someone that likes to keep their hair nice and neat, maybe do it before they go on the field. You got one of those at the Bulldogs? Uh, the Bulldogs. Oh, well, we've got a young chap who's uh, turned up this year from, um, um, from Melbourne, uh, um, SG Ball from the, from the Storm side. His name's Phil Salui. And uh, he's, pretty keen on the, um, he's pretty keen on his hair and, and looking at the part and pretty keen on the video and, and getting things down. So uh, he's one I'd like to dob in. Phil, salute. All right, we'll have to make sure we focus in on the camera just to keep him happy next time. That's right. The hardest trainer at the club? Uh, hardest trainer at the Bulldogs would be probably Aaron Byrne. Oh, there's a few. There's a few, but Aaron Byrne. Yeah. How would you describe yourself, just in one word? As a coach, how would you describe yourself? Uh, a manager. <laughs> and here's a trickier one as well. How would uh, the players describe you as a coach in one word? Um, um, I suppose I think after last weekend, they might think I'm a little bit crazy. That's it. It's an in joke. <laughs> Mate, that's your set of six, nice and easy. Thank you very much for joining us here in the sheds, and good luck this weekend. Thanks very much. Of course, that is in the sheds for another edition, ground two this weekend of the Group 9 Rugby League competition. Make sure you tune in next week for the latest in round three at the Group 9 website.